Hi, I'm Dr. Scott Jensen. If you look at the different renditions of a stethoscope through the last couple hundred years, you'd be amazed at what it looked like when we first started. This happened because many people piggybacked on top of one another's idea. If you look at the way we replace joints today, whether you're talking knees, hips, or shoulders, this is one person piggybacking on top of another. This came from the Minnesota State Capitol. 201 legislators and the governor and a lot of Minnesotans got involved and said, we need to reface our capital. We spent $300 million because it was a danger and needed to be done. What's the common denominator in those three situations? Nobody went it alone. It's dangerous to go it alone. And we're seeing that right now. Governor Walls, for some reason, is absolutely intent on seemingly bonding us to the hip of Governor Newsom from California. He is so totally committed to going with California emission standards. He is single-handedly going to drive the market towards electric cars in advance of what our supply chains and our economy can tolerate. Think about it. On the one hand, he's saying, this is where we're going because me and Governor Newsom, we're bonded. All right. But then he's also saying here, by the way, we need to increase the gas tax. Huh. So you want to reduce the number of people that drive gasoline vehicles, but you want to increase the gas tax knowing that not as many people are going to be buying gas. And then in the third breath you take, you tell us we need more infrastructure built. We've got a $1.6 billion forecast surplus. We've got another $2.5 billion coming from the feds. That's $4 billion, and Governor Walls wants to go it alone there. Here's the danger when you have a governor going it alone. We have 201 legislators. Spread those out over Minnesota and it's five and a half million people. There's a lot more access. And citizens of Minnesota deserve access. You deserve a voice. Well, if one person says, I'm doing it, I've got it covered, I'll take care of speaking for five and a half million. That's not nearly as good as multiplying it by 200 and letting Bill Weber and Paul Etke and David Tomasoni and Tom Bach and Kristen Robbins and Barb Haley, and Jeremy Munson, and Julie Rosen, and Michelle Benson, and all these people speak for their constituents. Going it alone might play just fine in a John Wayne Western, but Governor Walls, this isn't a Western, and you're not John Wayne. And Minnesotans are starting to wonder, did you ever have any serious intent when you said, one Minnesota.